I'm extremely happy to, to introduce the, this uh, afternoon uh, meeting of discussions uh, on infrastructure finance. This will actually be uh, the very first session uh, of an exceptionally dense week, whole week of dialogue on the, the main current developments uh, and challenges of uh, financing infrastructures. This will concern France, Europe, and uh, the world. Uh, the objective of this Infra Week, um, as we call it, is to, to gather, to bring, to bring together during the whole week major international investors, fund managers, lenders, arrangers, multilaterals, as well as government and EU officials. We'll have also infrastructure developers, lawyers and financial consultants, academia, and other players of the infrastructure finance community. The Infra Week uh, is organized by Paris Europlace with the support of the French Ministry of Economy and Finance, as well as various French and international financial institutions, and also professional associations, and uh, close to 150 speakers and panelists uh, participating will share with you their views with more than 1,000 infrastructure finance professionals who registered from all around the world. And for this afternoon, over 700 people registered from 20 different countries. So welcome, we are glad to welcome you here in, in Paris, which will be during this week, the center of the European infrastructure finance community. The presence of a, such a large uh, and distinguished audience also reveals that uh, Paris is a vibrant place for discussing, but also designing, uh, financing infrastructure project. As you know, and the ministry evoked that, we, we have in France an exceptional history uh, most likely the longest in uh, private finance for infrastructures through the very traditional but still living concession type. We have also top ranking banking groups with um, extremely experienced project and asset finance teams, world sized uh, specialized or institutional investors and particularly leading infrastructure funds. We uh, have also unrivaled uh, industrial operators involved on all continents in various segments, uh, in construction, uh, construction of bridges, but not only, uh, energy, telecom, uh, water uh, treatment, waste treatment, uh, mobility, digital. So we have, the France has operators in all those sectors which are absolutely key for infrastructure development. We have also a strong community of legal and financial services and supportive public authorities, that's absolutely key, and a favorable and innovative regulatory environment. As an illustration, a few days ago was officialized the creation of a new type of a specialized investment fund which should allow the Paris Financial Center to benefit from the best legal and financial tools to channel investments to infrastructure projects. The French Treasury has also, also always been supportive of the demands uh, from financial institutions and from Paris Europlace for a balanced regulation, especially as regards prudential requirements. And uh, as you probably know, adjustments to the Solvency II framework have fortunately been obtained for investments in infrastructures, but uh, still have to be, uh, to be improved. Some progress also has to be made for the Banking Basel regulation on the basis of a proven history of a low default of this type of assets. Like elsewhere, investors 
and investment funds play an increasing role in infrastructures to complement the bank financing in France. But maybe more than elsewhere, they have a decisive and dynamic role. According to a review by AFIC, the French Professional Association for Private Equity, the infrastructure funds operating in France accounted in 2016 for over 33 billion euros of assets under management. This is to say 25% of the French market of private equity and with a, a growth on year on year growth of 8 billion, maybe additional financing on one year, which represents 28% uh, growth. So this is a very, very dynamic uh, market. AFG, the French Asset Management Association, has for its part identified over 60 infrastructure funds operating in France. In parallel, the French banks continue to play a prominent role in lending. Four banking groups are listed among the top 10 largest credit providers in project finance in the world, with 25 billion euros of new loans in 2016, representing a world market share of close to 11%. And so that's a, an important and a significant percentage of the, the, the world, the global market share for the French banks. Infrastructure finance is indeed an essential element of the global strategy of the Paris uh, Financial Center. Paris Europlace has established a specific, had established a specific working group, which produced last year a landmark report of avenues to explore in order to further strengthen infrastructure financing in France and abroad, such as an organized pipe of uh, projects or of Bokenville projects, and the minister has explained that this has been done, it was a recommendation that now it's done, or an improved public governance of projects. And we are keen to strengthen the dialogue with other financial centers uh, in that field of activities. As you know, the world needs infrastructures for its development, its growth, its transformation, its digitalization, or its modernization. The baseline of our forum this afternoon is financing tomorrow's infrastructures. This uh, summarizes quite clearly the challenges ahead for getting infrastructures prepared for the next generation. We will be trying to appraise if adequate tools exist to finance the equipments needed in France, in Europe, in emerging countries, and more largely in the world for a balanced world. There is no more need to demonstrate the link between investment in infrastructures and growth. The European Commission has confirmed this analysis with the Juncker Plan which is decisive for European growth through massive investment in the infrastructures, as well as SMEs, of the continent. This afternoon's discussion has been divided into three topics, which adequately correspond to the main current challenges of infrastructure financing. Firstly, the necessary recourse to very long-term financing in order to cope with massive infrastructure needs in transportation, mobility, telecom, production and distribution of energy, climate, energy transition, environment protection and social infrastructures. Secondly, secondly, the more complex but essential financing of infrastructures in emerging zones, particularly Africa, where growth and increase in living standards depend directly on the existence of efficient infrastructures. And lastly, the financing of green infrastructures, which correspond globally to the structuring equipments needed for adapting to climate change. These equipments are more often decentralized with a financial model that may have 
to be more innovative than the classical model of cash flow financing with a public-private balance equilibrium to be revisited. As you know, green finance is a priority for Paris Europlace with the initiative that we took recently called Finance for Tomorrow, and during the afternoon, Philippe Zawati will uh, speak about, about, about that. This week, uh, we'll uh, demonstrate through the, this event the uh, vitality and attractiveness of Paris on the crucial domain of infrastructure finance. And I'm convinced that uh, sharing experiences will make all of us stronger to face our common current institutional, economic, and environment, environmental challenges. Thank you. <laughs>